Although the brain of a six-year-old will look similar in size and appearance as the adult brain, the neural connections within the brain continue to develop throughout adolescence and well into adulthood. The myelination of the neural pathways within the prefrontal cortex is one of the final steps to transform a teenage brain into a fully matured adult brain. Myelination refers to the formation of a myelin sheet around the axons of neurons. The glial cells of the central nervous system, called oligodendrocytes, produce the myelin sheets, which are a fatty substance that wrap around and insulate neuronal axons. Myelination is a crucial adaptive process since it threatens and accelerates the electrical transmission between neurons, thus coordinating how well brain regions work together. After birth, the population of oligodendrocytes drastically expands and there is a widespread of myelination happening throughout the first two years, and this gradually continues into early adulthood. However, the rate of myelination within the brain follows a distinct spatiotemporal pattern. Specifically, myelination will start at the brainstem regions and move upwards from the back of the cerebral cortex towards its front. This pattern closely mimics the evolution of the brain, in which the more primitive structures will undergo myelination first, and the structures associated with conscious thought and higher cognitive function will be myelinated last. As a result, the prefrontal cortex is the last brain region that gets fully myelinated. Although most brain regions will have already received a surge in myelination prior to reaching adolescence, the prefrontal cortex will only begin its rapid increase in myelination after puberty and will only reach its full maturation until early adulthood. This has many implications when it comes to understanding the risk-taking behavior and poor emotion regulation that teenagers will often demonstrate. The prefrontal cortex is heavily connected to other brain areas and is responsible for a variety of higher level cognitive functions, or what is commonly referred to as executive functions, such as planning and decision making, controlling emotional impulses, attentional control, and the ability to conceptualize long-term goals. Therefore, during adolescence, the neural networks responsible for these functions are still being refined and constructed by the process of myelination. Consequently, these networks are far from perfect. Think back to your early teenage years. I bet you can think of many examples in which you would now seriously question the decisions you made, whether it be engaging in a risky behavior that you would never consider doing now, having absolutely no control over your emotions, or simply being easily distracted are all behaviors that can be associated with the lack of prefrontal myelination. It is for this reason that once we reach our early 20s, or for some it might take a bit longer, that we can plan things more effectively, handle our emotions in a healthier manner, and overall become better thinkers.